The process of making metal is difficult and the history of man is largely defined by the metals he can make. Copper is the first metal. The second is bronze. The third is iron. With the exception of Michigan copper, all metals in the ancient world came from ores that were melted by heat that came from charcoal. The charcoal came from trees and the trees came from forests. If one wants to understand Michigan copper and how it relates to the old world, one must first carefully examine the complicated processes that are involved with the recovery of copper from ore. The refining of copper required high temperatures coming from the burning of charcoal for the smelting of crushed ores that had a low analysis of half a percent copper. For sure, copper was essential for the Bronze Ages. The smelting of copper is very difficult and requires several stages. First, the smelter has to crush into powder 200 pounds of or for every one pound of smelted copper. Second, the smelter needed to keep the temperature of the crushed ore at 2000 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. In the ancient world, temperatures were achieved by burning charcoal with forced air coming from the bellows into the bed of the ores. The formula is simple, but the process is complicated. To get one pound of copper from the mines of the old world there would have to be 200 pounds of crushed ores. Before smelting ores there have to be enough forests that are capable of providing more than 100 pounds of trees to produce for every pound of copper. The production of copper destroys forests. There were many ore deposits, but trees were the limiting constraint for the production of large quantities of copper in the ancient world. It is impossible to have any Bronze Age without copper. In the Bronze Age, there were simply not enough trees in the old world to produce the amount of copper required for the metal to benefit the lives of 100 million people. The simple fact was that there were not enough trees in the forest to heat the ores with their furnaces at 2000 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. In the Bronze Age, at least one pound of copper was needed for each person per year. Consequently, in order to achieve bronze's benefits at such a high level of civilization, more than 100 million pounds of copper would be required. In the Bronze Age, the local forests were not sufficient to support such a high consumption of copper and tin for the production of bronze. We are able to count the number of ancient copper pits in Upper Michigan. The area is relatively small and there are more than 10,000 abandoned pits that can easily be identified with drones and modern LIDAR technology. There were hundreds of millions of pounds of pure copper coming from Michigan at the time of the Bronze Age. The metal came from a small area where thousands of years earlier natural copper had surfaced. We know that there are millions of historical facts that confirm the importance of copper in the Bronze Age. We also know that there were not enough forests in the old world to make the charcoal required to produce hundreds of millions of pounds of copper. The number of trees was the clear constraint for this age. Where did the ancients get their copper? They got it from Michigan. How do we know? because more than 10,000 mining pits give testimony to the fact that copper came out of the ground at the same time as the Bronze Age. Frankly, it is simple. There was a lot of copper coming from Michigan when there was a high demand for copper in the Old World during the Bronze Age. How did the ancients move the copper from the rich deposits of Michigan to the high demand in the Old World? In that age, the movement of so much copper required ships that were capable of carrying large loads of metal across the Atlantic. There are thousands of researchers and scientists who accept the historical fact that Michigan copper was necessary for the success of the Bronze Age in the Old World. Now, how do we get the metal across the Atlantic? Our Phoenicia on the Mississippi confirms the fact that anciently the Old and New Worlds were connected by water. We ask you to come to Montrose, Iowa. Take a look at our ship replica and make your own calculations. We are sure that you will come to the same conclusions as thousands of others have already done. We welcome the careful review of serious people. Would you like to learn more about the ancient history of America? Come to the West Bank of the Mississippi and see for yourself the connecting link of a forgotten time. We want to organize buses where thousands of Mississippi River boat passengers from the Fort Madison Pier will come and see how American history was made hundreds of generations before the coming of the Europeans. Welcome to our Phoenicia. There you and your friends can learn more about the ancient history of America.